Hello there. Wow. Perfect. Wonderful. Well done. Okay. What's up, everybody? The Nintendo Beast jumping back here into Let's Play Animal Crossing City Folk here on the Nintendo Wii. October 19th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I am John. Yep. Alrighty. So we're gonna continue with some of our routine stuff today. Uh, it should be pretty... Pretty fall looking. And by fall looking, I mean, uh, all the foliage should look pretty... Dead. <laughs> As it does here. Still, still, like, several weeks later, still bitter that, uh, those money trees didn't actually sprout money. So maybe we'll try that again, and this time we'll water them. <laughs> I don't know, is that, is that a thing that needs to happen? Do you need to water money trees for them to grow money? Or bell bags? I don't know. Do I have a golden watering can? I don't think I do. No, I have a silver watering can. Maybe any watering will do? I don't know. I don't actually remember if I ever actually took the time to water. Or, I, I don't know if I actually took the time in this game <clears throat> to, uh, to actually grow money trees ever. So that's up in the air. I'm not sure. But anyway, so let's... Let's start off the day, see if it's going to be a good day or not. Um, well, let's check the bulletin board first. October 31st is Halloween. Have you got all your candy and, or costumes and candy ready? And the flea market is this weekend. Come and join. I think that is today. Is that today? Yeah, okay. It's today. So this weekend is the flea market. And then October 31st is Halloween, obviously. Nothing other than that on the Bolton board today. Picking some weeds here. So let me go inside, buy some candy. Uh, what I was going to say is, we'll run to Crazy Reds and buy some artwork and see if it's going to be a good day or not. If it's going to be a good day, the artwork that we buy will be legit. And also, there will be artwork. I'm not even totally sure. I'm not totally sure what to think right now. Because it hasn't... Ooh, scarecrow. I feel like, um... Yeah, I'll buy this. And I'm questioning this wall. Or this, yeah, this over here. A storefront. Really, that's a storefront. Oh, no, that's a first time ever. All right, well, that tells me that I don't actually want to buy that then. Maybe I'll come back for it. I don't know. If I go to decorate my house for Halloween and I look and I think, oh, that could use a crappy-looking storefront, uh, then I'll come back and buy it. But I don't know if that's going to be the case. Um, but that's good to know because... What is this? Scarecrow. I just bought that. Right. Right. Okay. Let me run to the ABD quick. Throw away some money. Uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm not totally sure when the last time I played was. So it is possible. It is possible that um, Crazy Red hasn't refreshed his inventory yet. Take all this money out. Throw some more of it away. Withdraw. Just literally throwing money away. It's a it's a tradition at this point. Every episode I throw a million a million or so bells away. Mm 
Actually, it's like, what, 1.2 million? Oh, crap, I didn't mean to deposit. Whoops. Let's do, uh... Yeah, that. That sounds like good. Sounds like a good number. Because that goes there, and that goes there, and I have too much money still. <laughs> I do have to find a better way to do this. I'm not going to do this 100... Literally, like, 992 times. It's, like, not happening. Um, so let's do... Yeah, something like that. That works. Alrighty, we'll bounce on out of here now. Now we're going to go to the city and um, see what there is to see. Grab up this, this weed real quick. I'm hoping that Crazy Red is A, open, and B has refreshed his inventory since last time I played. Um, I think it was Thursday morning last week that I recorded last week's episodes. Or Thursday during the day. So, I don't know. Being Tuesday now, I want to believe that it's refreshed, but I don't know for sure. All right. I did not read a word Cap'n just said, but I am excited. I am excited that Cap'n is coming to Animal Crossing New Horizons with Animal Crossing New Horizons 2.0 on the horizon. No pun intended again for uh, November. Prize guy Phineas is there. I wish he was coming back. He is not, I don't think, to my knowledge. All right, Crazy Red. Don't let me down now. Oof, it's a bad day already. Yeah, so it didn't refresh the inventory. It's the same crap as last week. <laughs> the same garbage as last week. Alright. Well, that was a bust. So what now? Let me go get my fortune. Red. But, uh, Katrina and Harriet are both coming back. Harriet is coming back as, like, a hippie now, though. She's not, like, regular, like, business lady, shampoodle owner, what, like, Harriet anymore. She's hippy-dippy friends with Harv. <laughs> I, Katrina, will foresee your future or reveal the charm that lies hidden for just 100 bells. Uh, tell my fortune. Very well, let me bring your star matrix into view. Ki he ha mo a ta ta, ki ha ha mo a ta 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 ta, yee! <laughs> I like to get my fortune read every so often here. Aha, yes, I am starting to see it. Oh my stars, what is this sight before me? The Milky Way is spinning out of control. The power of it threatens to wipe out the very existence of Pisces. My, 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 the stars surrounding you are not happy at all. Misfortune may fa fall upon you. You mean like the store not being refreshed? Inventory? Anyway. I cannot say exactly what might happen, but I can say that worrying over it will do you no good. Try to think positively, and remember that panic will draw misfortune's cruel hand ever closer. That is all. Yes, now I will require 100 bells. May happiness find you and yours. And remember that bad times are just times that are bad. Okay, bye, Katrina. Thanks for that little gem. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get my uh, shoes shined. What's up, Kicks? Uh, are you looking to have your shoes shined? Yeah. 500 bells? Shine them up. I can match them by color, or I can match them for the style you're going for. What'll it be? Uh, I'm gonna say match my s 
style. What a choice. I just got the finish to... They look the same. Alright, all finished. What do you say? Shiny as a brass whistle. Since your shoes just needed a quick buffing, this time the shine's on the house. But do me a favor, you've got to promise me that you'll come again. Yeah, since you didn't change the color at all. Thanks, Kix. At least you're an honest business, dude. Phineas. Why, hello there. And what can I do for you this fine day, little boy? Give me something. Okay, settle down now. I'm sure I've got just the thing for you. Now, don't be shy. Just tell me which prize you want, and it's yours. I want a bunny balloon. Can't say I blame you. I'm a sucker for those cute little guys. Alright. Yes. Yes, it's orange to match my Halloween spooky vibes. Alright. <laughs> Let's go back to Domoberg here. Maybe Cap'n will have something delightful to say to me. Or maybe he'll just tell me I'm crusty or I smell too good and I should brush up against the bus seats or something like he always does. <laughs> Alright, Cap'n. Spin me a yarn. Yar there, ye wee tuna. What news ye got of the city? Bustling as usual? Did you see lots of kids? I be tough, yar, but me heart melts when I see a tot out with his folks. I've heard this before. Them parents using every trick in the book to please this little guy, waving his chubby fists around. <laughs> yar, I know the feeling. I got myself a wee nephew, and the sprat be cute as a bean when he ain't yelling. Anyway, Domoberg be just seconds away, sprat. Once you're home, get yourself into bed double quick, yar. Oh, and call your parents once in a while, ye carp. I be sure they worry. Good advice, but also, uh, except for the first part. It's always weird when it's the middle of the day. It's like noon. Not even one o'clock yet. And he's like, get yourself into bed as quickly as possible, yar. It's time for bed. Okay. So... Let me go down to my house quick. Ow! <gasps> oh my god, I just dropped my balloon! I'm going back to the city, dude. That is... That is so sad and depressing. I didn't even know you could do that. I just took a picture too. I don't know. How, I didn't know I could do that either. I'm just learning new things. I don't even know. I don't know what I just did to take that picture. I just dropped my balloon, dude. Straight up, just floated away. I fell on my face and it floated away. I was like a happy camper, like yay! Tripped, fell. Makes me want to sign off the game. To be completely honest, that was just sad and depressing. Say there, Sprat. Would you say you're living your dream right now? No, I just dropped my balloon. Sorry if I started startled ye. Twere a bold question I'll be launching like that. Uh, it's just that, well, for me, I wore me a fair number of hats before settling into this gig that here. A quiet life ain't a bad thing, nar, but chase them dreams while you're young. It be your time to be bold. Yar, city be coming up. Sorry for swamping your bilge with such serious blabbering. Just pretend you didn't hear nothing at all. Just old Cap'n chatting to his own self is all. I'm gonna go back and, um, he's gonna be like... No, you can't have another gift today. And I'm gonna be like, but Phineas... You warned me and I didn't listen. He literally said like, oh, hold on to this one. Them rabbits like to, you know, run away or whatever. Really now, how would you feel if you came for a prize and some other boy had taken them all? 
Sorry to disappoint, but I have to make sure there are enough to go around, you know? But Phineas! Yes, it's greedy, but Phineas, you don't understand, man. You don't understand. Yes, I want another one. Fine, Phineas. I knew that was going to happen. I mean, not the balloon part. Losing the balloon. I knew I was going to get rejected. Now I'm just sad. I didn't know that was possible. I blame Katrina. I'm angry. I'm angry. I'm sad. I blame Katrina for that occurrence. I don't believe that if I would have if I wouldn't have gone and got my fortune read and she wouldn't have told me that I was unlucky or whatever the Milky Way was swallowing up Pisces or whatever kahiato ma wa blah 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 BS that she just read to me if she never told me that I didn't trip a single time before that Shut up shut up shut up captain I'm not in the mood I'm not in the mood okay Yeah Sure. Get some sweatpants on. Yeah, I'm gonna go get some sweatpants on and hide in my house. I'm gonna turn the lights out. Just lay around depressed for the rest of the day. Thanks, Cap'n. I know it's not your fault. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run all, all the way home and I can almost guarantee you Look say now I was gonna say I will guarantee you that I won't fall a single time, but I just fell. But not a single time did I fall before getting my fortune read. So now we know. Never go to never go to Katrina. Hashtag boycott Katrina. She'll ruin your life. Look at this. I'm useless. <laughs> and I definitely ran at least this distance before going to her. She single handedly ruined my day. Look, no balloon. I lost my balloon because of her. My orange bunny balloon. Katrina, you... Mm -mm. Nope. I could have put the bunny balloon right here. Would have been real nice. But, but alas, here we are. Bunny balloonless. What was this again? A scarecrow. <laughs> What if we put the mushroom, or the mushroom? This will be, this will fit perfectly in the center of the room though, right? Yeah, so then we'll put the scarecrow back here. <laughs> that works. I'm, uh... I'm just gonna put this candy away quick. <laughs> And then I'm just going to depressingly go, uh, fishing. Like a sad person. <laughs> Even that can't cheer me up. Alright, we're going fishing. <laughs> I'm going to catch a rare fish, accidentally release it, and that's going to be the end of the day. Here's a fish. Swam away. It's a freaking horse mackerel. I guess, yeah, I guess catching a bunch of mediocre fish certainly isn't gonna, isn't gonna lift my spirits now, is it? Uh, let me select my Critterpedia here. I should really figure out which fish are actually out and about.
Um, fandom. <laughs> so I'm gonna do Animal Crossing. Oops, whoops. Animal Crossing search. Fish. City folk. Bada bing, bada boom. Find this chart. So what? What's the last one we have here? What's this gap? So we got a loach. So just below the loach is a catfish. Wait, so... December... They should be out. 4 p.m.? Oh, they're not out until later today. They're like evening fish. Alright, but we can catch the catfish. This month. But I have to catch it by the end of the month, otherwise we're doomed because they go away until like next fall um so after the black bass is the pike what say you pike the pike is available this month too 4 a.m to 9 p.m we're going pike fishing that's what we're gonna do they're river fish they're big river fish apparently That little thing is not going to be it. What about you? You seem pretty small to be a pike. But I'm actually not totally sure how big a pike is. So, guess we're going to find out. That's not a pike. That's a, that's a black bass. Wait, it should say... Oh, I think the size... Okay, so it's a five. Sizing-wise, like shadow size, it's a five. Which means it's the big boy. It's a big jumbo fishy. Maybe I'll go up before the waterfall? <laughs> I'll go up the river before the waterfall. And see what we can see. That way we have more river to run up and like to explore. As opposed to... Oops, I didn't mean to throw that in there. Make sure there's no fish that's going to be... Okay. So make sure there are no fish to be scared away by, be, by me reeling it in. Any massive fish? No. My cat is trying desperately to get up on my lap, and I keep rejecting him. <laughs> because he's destructive, and he's just looking at me, and he's like, I know you're talking about me. <laughs> I can't scare the stupid fish away. Get out of here. I'm pike hunting. I think it's like 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. that the pike is available. That's for sure too small. That's a four, I would wager. Yeah. I'm not 100% sure if the five is the largest river fish in town, but it's certainly bigger than all these ones that I'm seeing. <laughs> so if this is like a black bass, that'll confirm that this is a four. Can't even see it. Oh, is it a pike? It's a pike. I didn't catch a pike. Psych! We caught a pike, guys. Oh my god. That was easier than I thought it was going to be. There it is. 
the pike. Ye old pike. All right, so what's next on this list? On this to-do list? What the heck is that thing? All right, so we caught a string fish. We'll have to donate that pike to the museum then. Um, so the string fish... Next up would be the salmon. I don't think that that's going to be around right now. All day. Just last month. The salmon were around exclusively last month, apparently. So that sucks. Okay. So then after that, we have the guppy. Followed by the angelfish, which apparently is a river fish. That's interesting. Available this month, but it ends at, or starts at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. So that's a darn shame, too. The Neon Tetra, the Piranha. <laughs> oh my god, there's a whole section. So we need the Piranha, the Arowana, and the Dorado, assuming that this is the Gar. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so the Piranha... The Arowana and the Dorado. All river fish. Um, 9 a.m. to 4. Wait, 9 a.m. to 4 a.m.? Okay, Piranha. So 9 a.m. to 4 a.m., 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. The only one that the Arowana is, no, is not right now. But it doesn't matter because none of them are available this month anyway. Crap. They were all last month. Okay. So then between the sea butterfly and... Okay, so we're looking for a jellyfish. The jellyfish is all day. And it's only in the summer month. A single month. Okay, so that's useless too. <laughs> Alright, and this is the, what, the butterfly fish? Yeah. So after the butterfly fish comes the Napoleon fish. 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. And it's available only in the summer months as well. Oh, good. So we wasted our summer, apparently. Then after the lobster. Where is the lobster? Okay, there. The moray eel. Ocean, all day. Should be available. Right now. Moray eel. Size 5 shadow. Size, size 5 boot. We're coming for you now. I need to make up for this uh, this terrible loss. Look, look how I don't trip anymore. So a size five shadow that didn't really seem that big. The size five is just seemingly like a regular, like a large shadow. I wonder if there are size sixes. And a size six would be something like the uh, like a shark. Or like a coelacanth or something of that nature. I'm thinking we're gonna... Oh, now I'm tripping again. <laughs> I'm thinking we're gonna catch a bunch of sea bass. That's my assumption. Oh boy, if we even see any size 5 fish, that is. <laughs> Just trying to scare the small ones away. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah. Uh. Uh, yeah, neither of these look really big, do they? <laughs> this is a size 4 at best. I'm doing this. Wasting my time reeling this in. It's an octopus. Just to clarify, is that a, was that a size 4? Yes. So the octopus was a size 4, which means the moray eel is the next size up from that. So we're looking, we're literally looking for like a um, sea bass sized fish. 
which could be worse. Crap, I didn't mean to pick that up. I'm going to release all these fish except for the pike. Not releasing you, pike, sorry. Because I'm not here to make money. Or to fill my pockets with fish. I'm just... Strictly here to work on my Critterpedia and my museum. <laughs> that pike came really easily, I feel. I feel like it set a, it set a bad precedent for uh, what to expect from here on out. Like, I'm expecting to just, like, easily find whatever fish I'm looking for, and right now the, uh, the ocean is bearing no, no fruit. <laughs> like, at all. Literally nothing. Ah, <sighs> boy. Alright, so I'll take one more lap. Ow, my face. That might have been another pike, but I don't care. <laughs> I already caught one. I don't need another. <laughs> Dude, why are there no fish in the ocean? Except for that one. But that was tiny and not relevant. Run back now. Get out of here. Crap, I didn't mean to pick that stupid coral up. <laughs> so we're going to run back, and if there's still nothing, I'm going to run up to the museum and donate this pike. <laughs> I mean, I'll probably do that regardless when I get over there. But... This is so frustrating. Why are there no fish? Like ocean fish, should clarify. Tiny little thing, probably a ow. Sea butterfly or something. Okay, yeah, no fish. It's interesting. What? Sup, John? Do you see me as a catchphrase dropping kind of dude? Someone told me I always said shuba shubity. Oh yeah, I told you to say that, didn't I? Someone told me I always say shubity, but I don't know about that shubity. Oh, whoa. I guess I do say it a lot. Shubity. Uh, I don't know why, but it just comes out. Do I need to freshen up my catchphrase arsenal? Nah, you're good. That's great, I'm so relieved. Shubity doobity do. I think I told you to say that. I don't know why. Don't ask me where Shubity came from. I think it was something along the lines of like Shubity Doobity or something stupid. But, you know. Pike. Here, have a giant fish that I pulled out of the river. It's a relative of the salmon. Cool beans. Didn't need to know that. Alright. Well, I'm gonna go into the f the, uh, the fish exhibit and see my pike. There's the gar. Is that the pike back there? Yeah, that looks like a big old pike. So it's definitely coming along here. If I do say so myself. I just feel like there are a lot of ocean fish that still need to be caught. Like pretty much all the sharks, I'm pretty sure. 
because somehow I'm slacking. I'm slacking. But the river fish, for some reason, you, I, I remember always fishing in the ocean. But it seems like the river fish, a lot of the river fish have been caught. Uh, at least in comparison to how many of the ocean fish I've actually caught. I don't know. Let me run down to the ocean one last time. I'll just make my way over to my house. And if there's nothing there, then that's... You know, we'll call it quits for the day. Because unfortunately... Ah? Is that a size 5 boot? Maybe? Are you a moray eel? And if not, can you be? You're not. Too small. Too small. It's a dab. Or an olive flounder. They're the same thing. <laughs> so not looking good so far, but there was a fish, which is promising. I don't see any fish, dude. Holy crap. Oh. Oh. Is that... Oh, that's a five or two. It's going to be a sea bass, and I'm going to be so disappointed, but it's definitely a size fiver. Come on, baby. More a eel. Please. Ah, oh, it's a sea bass. Well, no such luck. Toward appear. Let me go to, at least go to the side here. <laughs> nope. That looks to be the end of the line. Alrighty, well that's where we'll sign off for this week. We did get the pike. We also uh, had the sad, sad failure with the balloon. The balloon incident, we'll call it. We're not going to talk about that anymore, though. <laughs> Halloween is coming up, or coming up quickly here in Animal Crossing, so that's exciting, at least. Right? Maybe someday I'll get an orange uh, bunny balloon back, but... Until next time, I'm going to lay here in my bed again. Until next time, if you haven't already and you love Nintendo games, you love Animal Crossing as much as I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel here and ring that bell for notifications for when I do live streams here on the channel every single month and when I upload new video con to the content to the channel uh, every single weekday here. Make sure to smash the like button on this video and leave me a comment in the comment section below. But until next time, I am the Nintendo Beast. Thank you so much for watching.